Hello everyone, and this is Mr. Alvaro Ronan here, and welcome to part one of my beginner's guide to My Hero One's Justice 2. Now, in this part, in part one, we are going to be focusing on the concept of dash cancelling and how it can be done. I see a lot of comments on my videos to people asking how to dash cancel, so hopefully those people find this video. Okay, so. Um, in these videos, I'm going to be assuming that you have done the tutorial, the beginning game tutorial, and you know how to run around, you know how to press quirk buttons, and like, do attack strings and stuff. Because that stuff is get is told in the tutorial. But I'll just quickly cover it, just in case you need it. But to walk around, obviously it's the stick. Um, to dash, it's your left bumper. I, I don't know what console you're on, but it's always the left bumper, and if it's not, you can check, uh, Actually, you can't check in here. But it's the button that makes you run. And so, you know, if you run around like this, that the same button that you use to run around fast around the map is the button that you use to do a dash cancel. So, um... A basic combo, if I didn't use a, deck, uh, a dash cancel, a combo with shoot style uh, Deku would be something like this. He actually has pretty good no dash cancel combos. He could get some decent damage, but he'll be limited at something like this, 7,800. Now, if I add a dash cancel into the combo, I can get significantly more damage if I do something very simple like this. Oops, if I don't mess up the combo. <laughs> Dash cancel. And don't worry, I'll tell you exactly how to do it later. See, I'm getting a lot more damage from my combos if I do something like that. So, how do you do it? So, as I said before, it's the same button, the left bumper, that you use in order to dash or run around the map. And, as the name suggests, it's a cancel. So, just how, like how you would cancel a single hit into a yellow attack, so you do one hit and then go into a yellow attack, or you can do one hit and go into a quirk button, or any number of hits of your regular attack string into quirk buttons. That's the same thing, you're cancelling a button into another one. Because like, if you do it like this, and then press it really late, it's not going to cancel into it. So as soon as that, the button hits, or the attack hits, you can cancel into another button, and that's what a cancel is. And the same thing applies for a dash cancel. So after one hit hits, if I press the run button, He'll turn blue and dash the opponent, and because we're so close, he actually dashes through them. And that is basically the essence of dash cancel. You can do it after nearly every attack. Um, some characters have things that can't be dash cancelled, like uh, Shoot Style Deku's Quark 1 can't be dash cancelled. Oh, uh, actually it can, but it doesn't give you anything. So if you do something like... Like he doesn't get anything off of it. But uh, there are some moves that can't be dash cancelled, but nearly anything in this game can be dash cancelled. So, as you can see here, I can dash cancel off the first hit, off the second hit, and off of the third hit of this attack string. And I can also do it off of his, this is his quirk 2 string, does three hits. I can do it off of the, all three hits of these, but you can't actually easily combo off of the third one. So usually you'll dash cancel after the second. Oops, I ran out of meter. And you dash cancel and you can extend your combos a lot. And because uh, uh, Shoot Style Deku can go into his yellow attack and then into his tilt core 2, into his quirk 2, you can get some really easy combos with one dash cancel, just like that. Pretty good damage and will splat the opponent. And people seem to have a lot of trouble with timing their dash cancel, and just think of it like you're cancelling it into a quirk button. So if I do his regular attack string, just be mashing the quirk 2 button, as to, like when the third hit's coming out. So if I mash the attack button a bunch of times, his third hit's coming out, and I'm mashing quirk 2 as I see him reach into the air. So, and now I'm mashing quirk 2. And it comes out, so that's a cancel. The same thing applies if I want to dash cancel the third hit. So, and I'm mashing the dash cancel button, and he'll dash cancel as soon as he does the hit. So I'm mashing it, he dash cancels as soon as he hits them. And the same thing applies for any other button. So if I two, I press the button when the attack hits, or slightly after it, and it will dash cancel. You can actually dash cancel things at a different amount of um, timing, so I can either dash cancel it really late, just like I did there. It's not going to get you anything, because you can't get a combo if you do it too late. Or you can dash cancel very early, like I did just then. And a lot of the time you want to be dash cancelling sooner than later. 
so that you can get combos. And, um, but yeah, dash cancels are a very crucial mechanic for playing this game, because it's how you're going to get combos, um, it's also how you get pressure and you can make yourself safe. And you can really get a lot of, like, it, and as you can see, they, if you see my plus ultra meter, it costs about one letter for every dash cancel. But as you can see there, if you want to spend your plus ultra meter, you can get a lot of damage if you do a, a lot of um, dash cancels in your combo. So something, <laughs> something with shoot cell Deku, if I just wanted to keep going and... Yeah, really long, ridiculous combos. <laughs> even meter blew that meter blow uh, before I could even finish the combo. But you can get a lot of really long combos and really damaging combos for doing a dash cancel. Um, if you're having a really hard time getting learning how to do a dash cancel, just thought mash the attack button for Xbox it's X and PlayStation it's uh, Square, I think. So yeah, mash the attack button, and then once you've seen any attacks hit, just mash the run button, and like, you're bound to do dash cancels. There's no way that you can not get a dash cancel. Like, if you have meter, you'll be able to dash cancel. And I think that's also where a lot of people go wrong. They go into training mode, and they're trying to dash cancel. Oh, wait, let me just... And by default, training mode doesn't give you a uh, plus ultra gauge. So I think people are like, oh, I can't dash cancel. Why can't I do it? I'm so bad at the game. But you need to know that it does cost plus ultra gauge. So you need to make sure you go into battle settings and um, you can set plus ultra gauge to either fill it or have it always max so that you don't run out and you can practice your dash canceling. It's really not a hard mechanic. Um, once you get it down pat, like, it's not even something you, I have to think about, like, ever, and I don't think a lot of people do, but, um... <laughs> yeah, I hope this video uh, helped you learn how to do it. I'll just quickly show some things of um, what it's useful for. So obviously it's useful for combos, as I've shown already. There's actually a lot of useful different extensions. If you go look up combo videos for characters, whether they're my videos or someone else's, um, there are ton of great combos you can do with characters. If you do a dash cancel with them, you can put in two or three. But even one dash cancel lets you get a lot of really good damage. Um, but not only are they good for damage, you can also use them to uh, um, on a blocking opponent. So if he's guarding, and I do something unsafe, like this, and I, like, he doesn't really have that many... Or, say if I do this, that's very unsafe. And I can show that by making him... Um, action after guarding, and then target combo. So after he blocks something, he will... Oops, I broke his guard. <laughs> oh my god, can he get his guard back, please? <laughs> so, he will punish me as soon as he blocks it, because that's very unsafe. Um, but, if I dash cancel... Can he guard me to, like, not... <laughs> be so empty. Yeah, let me let that refill. Okay. Come down. Um, but if I dash cancel this, I can attack straight after. If I dash cancel, and even though there are little gaps there, you can make a lot of things that are really unsafe safe just because you dash cancel. So if you want to spend the meter, you can add a. a do a lot of guard on pressure on a blocking opponent. So like, even just doing something like this, <laughs> going ridiculous and doing a ton of dash cancels, there's almost nothing they can do and you break their guard if you're willing to spend a lot of meter. And this adds to a lot of pressure to a lot of characters, like, like, shoot style already has a lot of great guard pressure, but being able to dash cancel after any of these unsafe things, like, to make it safe and break your opponent's guard, because they've decided to block something, is a really powerful tool, and you want to make sure you know how to do it. But, um, you can also just make yourself completely safe by dash cancelling and dashing out of the way, or dash cancelling into a yellow attack, and if they try and press the button, then you're hitting them with your yellow attack. So yeah, dash cancels have a lot of really useful, um, uses. Uh, not only are they great for combos, but they're also good for, um, pressure and keeping yourself safe. So I hope this video was useful in teaching you how to use the dash cancel, not only how to perform it, but also how to use it well. 
And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in part two of my beginner's guide to My Hero Wants Justice 2. Hope you enjoyed. See you there. Bye.